Now, Walt Disney earnings are due after today's close, and investors will be watching for news of how Disney's Disney Plus subscription service has been doing. Have Disney Plus managed to eat into Netflix and Amazon Prime's margins? Now, Disney already have more subscribers than Netflix as they surpassed Netflix 220 million subscribers uh, that just three months ago. So will they now extend that lead? Notice this key support level on the Disney daily chart. And also Disney have announced a multi-year extension of their F1 broadcast partnership recently where F1 races will continue to be shown on ESPN networks in the US throughout the 2025 season. So can Disney shares announce a few surprises today after the close? Um, and if you just notice Disney's seasonals, they are pretty strong into the year end. You can notice that Disney share prices have risen 12 times, only lost value three times over the last 15 years between November the 20th, December the 30th. Average return 6.58% and annualized return of just under 80%, which is uh, pretty impressive. So the major trade risk of this is that if stocks keep tracking lower, if the Federal Reserve keeps on its aggressive rate hiking policy in order to curb excessive US inflation, that naturally weighs on uh, US stocks generally and could impact Walt Disney's shares as the broader impact this felt across the market. Remember, don't just trade it, but seize an exit.